The next thing we need to do is configure group policy objects to allow ICMP v4 to our internal hosts. This is required to support the Teredo IPv6 transition protocol. So to do that, let's open the group policy management console. I'm going to click on start run uh, or actually hit window key R and go to run and type in GP group policy management console gpmc.msc and choose OK. You can actually get to this through the server manager as well. So here we want to create some new group policy objects in our domain. So uh, we'll uh, expand corp.vintagesurf.com and uh, group policy objects. Right click on group policy objects and choose new. Here we want to name this direct access ICMP settings and choose OK. Now that we've created this object, we actually need to go edit the settings for this particular object. So I'm going to right click and choose edit. And next we'll need to expand policies, windows settings, security settings, Windows Firewall with Advanced Security and expand Windows Firewall with Advanced Security once more. Now we're going to highlight inbound rules, right click and choose New Rule. Once the new uh, inbound rule wizard opens, let's select Custom and choose Next. All programs is fine, so we'll choose Next. And then for the protocol type, we want to select a very specific protocol. In this case, we only want to choose ICMP v4. So select that. Come down here to this button where it says Customize and select Customize. Instead of allowing all ICMP types, we want to select a very specific ICMP type, and that is the echo request. For our purposes, the Teredo Transition Protocol sends ICMP echo requests to resources in order to determine the type of NAT or network address translation device that it is behind. I can't go into the, the full details of Teredo, but understand that it does rely on ICMP traffic for it to work. In this case, it only sends echo requests. By selecting a specific ICMP request and the echo request for this firewall rule, what we're doing is we're telling the firewall only to allow this very specific ICMP request. So this is a, a kind of a a security best practice. We only want to grant access for the specific requests that are required. So let's choose OK. And we will choose Next. Any IP address for the source is fine and any remote IP address is fine. So choose Next. And obviously we want to allow the connection. So choose Next. And then for which profile, or which Windows Firewall with Advanced Security profile do we want it to apply, we can safely apply this to all of them. So go ahead and select Next. And then we'll give this a name, Allow ICMP v4 Inbound, and choose Finish. So let's go back over to our Group Policy Management Editor, and you'll see we have an ICMP v4 Inbound Firewall Access Rule. Let's repeat that. Uh, steps again except for this time we're going to select ICMPv6 because again Teredo traffic may be either ICMPv4 from the NAT 6 to 4 service or it could be uh, native IPv6 as well. So we'll choose all programs again and this time we will select ICMPv6 communication, select customize, choose specific ICMP and echo request and OK. Next, any source, any destination, allow the connection, all profiles is fine, and a name. And choose OK. Let's go back over to the policy management editor. And the last change we need to make for these rules, if you actually highlight the uh, rule and right click and choose properties, Go to the Advanced tab, and we need to select for Edge Traversal. By default, it will block Edge Traversal, and since we're coming in over a NAT device, an Edge device essentially, this will actually won't work in its default configuration. So we need to select Allow Edge Traversal. So choose OK, and do the same thing for our ICMPv4 inbound rule. So Advanced, 
and then allow edge traversal, and then choose OK. So at this point, we're done with the group policy object, so we can close the policy management editor. Now we need to assign this particular GPO to our domain. So we're going to just uh, drag this up to our domain, choose OK, and we're linking this group policy management object to the domain. 